Hey guys, it's Damien. It is February 23rd. I am here to teach you about runway today. This was from a question that one of you sent in and you asked about financial freedom and we're trying to get clarity based on a blog post that I had uh, written a while ago. And so I'm gonna take you through the formula of understanding your financial freedom runway numbers. And really what this is, it is your timeline to where you go and financially you blow up. And this could be either to figure out how long you have to retire, um, or it could mean, it, and what I mean by that is, if you stopped working right now and you retired, how long before you went broke? Or if you're going to reinvent your life, let's say you're going to start a new business or you're gonna go pursue your passion and you're gonna travel, whatever it is, you are gonna take a period of time where you're not going to spend your time making money like you normally do with your work, your job, your business, whatever it is. There's a period of time and Chris Ashby and I call that runway. It's from Reinvented Life and it's really the period of time that you have before flatline in terms of a reinvention. So without going further into that, let me explain the formula. The first thing we have to get really, really clear on, and, and this is where something like mint.com or if you're really good at, your, at keeping track of your stuff, uh, QuickBooks is helpful, but I love mint.com. Mint.com will help you understand what your real expenses are every month. And a lot of times people don't realize what they're spending money on. They're, they're spending money with their credit cards, they're juggling money all over the place, and they have no idea. They say, well, I make $4,000 a month, and I must spend $4,000 a month. But what they're not thinking about is the credit cards that they're piling money on. What we wanna get clear on is what are your monthly expenses? So first thing we're gonna do, we're going to pick a number for your monthly expenses. Let's just say for the, the sake of argument, your monthly expenses, and I'm not talking about you going out and buying a Ferrari, you could do that, but let's say this is for you having a kind of a, a normal lifestyle that you are accustomed to. And for the average American, that's about $4,000 a month. So we're gonna use 4,000, okay? All right, the next thing we need to figure out is if you stopped working today, do you have any income coming in? And this is something that we're gonna put here. This is passive income. Do you, th do you have anything that comes in like royalties from a book? Do you have a rental house that gives you a hundred bucks a month, or um, do you have a uh, do you have interest that's being paid to you from a bank account? Probably not right now. I mean, interest rates are at zero point two five. So, in all likelihood, unless you have a gazillion dollars in some bank, and probably that's actually going to cost you money because of negative rates. But I digress. Passive income, anything that's being paid to you, we call this mailbox money. Things that are being paid, no matter what you do. If you sit in your pajamas and you eat bananas all day, and that's it, no no active work, this is your number. Let's say that you've got a few rental houses and, um, and you've, you've built those up to where they're consistently paying you about $1,000 per month for all of them, okay? So we're gonna use that number. So one, okay. All right, so here's the formula for figuring out the next thing. E, expenses, P is your passive income equals B, and B is your burn rate. This is how much it costs, uh, how much of a drain it is on you if you're not working. So if you've got some savings and you're chewing into them, that's your burn rate. That's how, so here's what happens. You, you're spending 4,000, you've got 1,000 in passive income. That means every month you've got to dip in and find an extra $3,000. So right now you've got a burn rate of $3,000. Okay, so how free are you? Well, you don't know. There's, you, you don't have enough information. You're missing one piece. Here's the piece. Number three, L, you know what that stands for? Liquid assets. Here we're talking about your savings accounts, your mutual funds, your, your gold and silver, anything that you can liquidate within a relatively normal period of time, let's say it's six to 12 months, that would enable you to sell a house. I almost don't like using houses, I'm talking about rental houses, not the place you live, because you still have to live somewhere but anything that's liquid where you could transfer it and a rational number. So let's say liquid assets, let's say you've got $100,000. And we're going to divide the liquid assets by burn rate. And your burn rate is $3,000 a month. 
So this formula, we end up with F, and F is freedom, your months of runway. So in this case, 100,000 divided by 3,000 is going to be 33. That's how many months of freedom you have. So if you stop working and you retired, that's going to be a really fun retirement for 33 straight months, and then you're screwed. So that's probably a bad idea unless you really plan on dying very quickly. What this is more important for and probably applicable towards a lot of you with, with reinvention, and this could just be you got downsized or your business flopped, or you said, I just don't want to work anymore, at least for a while. I'm going to work on a passion. I'm going to go become a yogi, a yoga instructor. I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to take a break. I mean, I've done that a couple of times where I just, I was burned out and I needed, I needed time to just be and recover and think and process. I, I needed to understand what, what my runway number was and that way I could take the time and, and just go through that process. So if this was me or this is you, you've got 33 months of runway. And all that means is that you've got just under three years to figure it out and you're not gonna starve to death. You can live pretty much your normal life if this is your normal life. So there's at this point, really you have to ask yourself, what are the options? If I want to expand my runway, clearly there's two. One is increase your passive income, and two is increase your liquid assets. Most people focus on this because there's a lot of pressure from Wall Street and 401ks and employers, and just the idea that a whole bunch of money is gonna make us free. Well, that's kinda true. I mean, if, if you take your 100,000 and you add a zero to this, 100,000 adding a zero is one million, you also add a zero to that, so now we have 330 months. Well, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, that's 30 years almost. I mean, 28 years, something like that. That's a long time. So a million dollars, if you're only burning, if your expenses are 4,000, your passive income is 1,000, most people can do that. Most people can, over a working lifetime, can save that type of money up. But maybe that's not the best plan. It is a plan, it's something. But here's another idea. If you'll start working on this number, what do you need to do to have a burn rate of zero? All you need to do is create passive income of $4,000. At that point, you have a burn rate of zero, and if you have liquid assets of anything and a burn rate of zero, guess what? You're free forever. You can literally stop working and it doesn't matter. Robert Kiyosaki talks a lot about this in, in Rich Dad Poor Dad and Cash Flow Quadrant and, and things. I think what is missing is the idea that it's, you really, it comes down to two things if you want to figure out how free you are and that is either a ginormous pile of cash or passive income. And in my, my experience, this is a way better plan because you can continue to do this. This tends to take a lot more time than this. This does take time. But once you've created passive income and you understand the formula, I mean, it's not a big complicated mess to go and buy investment houses. And once you buy one, you can buy another one. And then you buy another one. And before you know it, you've got enough houses that are paying for your expenses and now you're free forever. So this is the formula that I used. It's the formula that I still use. And I hope it helps you understand how free you are, how long you have to reinvent, how long you have to retire until you run out of money and you become a ward of the state, which I know you don't want. Hope that helps a lot. Please keep sending your questions over and I'll keep doing what I can to share my experiences and build lessons that will give you the tools you need to be financially free and in control of your life forever. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.